Hello everyone. So if you would like to see how I created this or something similar for a graduation yard banner or yard sign, these are not banners, not to be confused with like the large banners. These are the kind that sit on the stakes that you would sit by your mailbox or by the front door. And then you can just design it how you like and have it sent to um, Office Depot. I'm going to show you how to do that. The school does offer these for most of the time, but like if you didn't place your order in time or if you just want to do something custom, here is how you would do that. So we're going to start off in Canva. Um, the, there's an option down here, a 24 by 18, but we're actually going to be doing a 34 by 24. And here's our template. <clears throat> Basically what I did in that um, in that one, I want to say I started out with like a silver background um, and we'll just play around as we go. As you all know, as you start to play around with your designs, it changes from what you initially have in mind a lot of the time. So I'm just going to go here looking for my own graduation picture from 2022 from GGC and it should be coming up somewhere up in here. And so here's the photo. And as you notice, there's a background. So if you click on the photo and go to edit photo, you can actually just do BG remover when you have Canva Pro. I, I swear by Canva Pro, I think it's just worth it. Um, if you do any of this type of stuff, you just need Canva Pro, just invest y'all. And that's that photo. So then another one is this one. I took this picture like on my last day or around the last day of school there. And it's just, I love it. Um, so that's one of my favorite pictures um being on campus and i think that's about it so we're going to go back to elements and i want to say like uh you can just say graduation right graduation to give us some ideas of what all we can do so you have videos photos and graphics i think that graphics a lot of the time are best for things like this so if let's just say you see one that you really like like this for example you could actually right click well let's see i thought i could make that my background but apparently not um but you can do like this which will make it really big and i don't like that as much as doing something like this <clears throat> and then just kind of duplicating it and creating like your own wall so to speak your own type of backdrop so you see that and i'm just gonna overlap it a little bit that way it's not like this awkward so then now um, i'm holding the shift button down and i'm going to duplicate these and i'm just making sure they line up but not exactly and i'm gonna do it again until we have the cap and gowns or the caps and balloons all over our uh oh told me it was blocked what's going on paste duplicate all right ignore technical difficulties and so now we have all of these on top of our actual these images so if you ever get in that point where you can't get to your original image go to position in layers and see how all these layers took precedence over this and we're just going to move those images back to the top like so okay um, <clears throat> now what I would like to do <laughs> um, and also don't forget that this color here is still gray I am trying to get to this green but uh, we'll see how I get to that in a second um, but yeah so here we're gonna do like, uh, it's called frames. And so with frames, you can, it's just what it is. It's like a crop in a sense where you can put a photo and it doesn't have our, like these sharp straight edges. It'll actually like smooth it out depending on what type of uh, frame that you choose to put your photo in. All right, y'all, so we, I found what I was looking for. It took forever. But I did find it and I am going to drag it out and make this part a little bit larger 
you actually can put your like whatever photo you want to put here of like yourself or whatever I just chose to put the school there um, <clears throat> And I'm wondering something too, so just bear with me. I'm sorry. I'm, I will fast forward. If I don't feel like it's relevant, but I do want to check something out really quickly. I'm still trying to get this photo to pick up a color. It's just so strange to me that I, I can't pick up the color. Okay, so here, there we go. There's the background that I want, the background color that I'm trying to get to. <laughs> All right, now upload. <clears throat> Gotta go back to find my photo. And there it is. <clears throat> I am going to, again, just really want the head shot for the most part and make this a little bit larger. Back to our elements. Let's now look for um, a graduation again, like a congrats grad or just anything like that. Um, See how this does that? It's already very festive. You don't have to do a lot of work to get a huge impact with something like this. That's why I like these images, right? So we have congratulations already written up there. And then um, if you like that style, this little three buttons here, if you click there, it'll say, see more like this. And it'll give you more like that, but we're not looking for those type of things. But nonetheless, here you have just more options of things that can be added. Um, even like that would have been a nice background if you were interested in a background like that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to say text over here. And I'm going to just say text box. And you can just put your name here all caps and I'm going to move it over and I'm going to choose a font I don't have one in mind like a particular one in mind um, whatever your favorite fonts are you know have fun with it this one's a little bit decorative I do like this congratulations April or whoever your um, client is first and last name I'm sure it's going to be something that they are most likely wanting on this so congratulations April and then back over to our elements and we should have a class of 2024 so let's put that in there class of 2024 film it may be a little too busy for you. Um, another thing you can do is just like add more of those, uh, where is it, graduation caps. So this might be too busy. You can just do something simpler like this one. And you can make it more transparent, like really light, but like vaguely there. See that? And <clears throat> I'm only adding them at the very bottom. So like this. And then layer this. I'm going to send backwards. I'll send to the back. So now you can't see it, can you? All right, got to play around with my position. So, uh, where is it? 
so now that image is behind me behind my face but so you see how <clears throat> just that small little detail filled in the space and so it's not looking so plain um, and so yeah that's that so it has my school logo there if you want to add your school logo elsewhere you can do that but that's pretty much how I did this second design uh, where's this the first one and then here's the first one is what I did it was a little bit more simpler as far as that but like whatever you want to do is really simple right the next step would be to download this image right so we're going to download it <coughs> to our PC and then dot com print services okay so if you click up here and also before we continue always keep an eye out for uh, coupons because it's 30 percent off of sixty dollars for any print service which is what we're doing so um, just keep an eye out for those things and so here's our service um, and we have in large format printing posters banners yard signs we are doing a yard sign and um, I want to upload my design today that gives you the option to work on this from your um, what do you call it Canva directly but the measurements is a 36 by 24 y'all not a 34 by 24 it's a 36 by 24 so we're going to click on the 36 by 24 and press continue but also because I know that let's go back to our image and <clears throat> let's resize and it's 36 by 24 not a 34 by 24 so 36 by 24 and press continue and I want it to redesign, resize this design. And so that's the quick fix for something like that if you ever ran into that problem. So we're gonna download this again just to make sure we have the correct size. All right. <clears throat> so back to Office Depot, it fits perfectly. You see that? So there we have it. And you wanna go over to print options it does say like um, <clears throat> fabric short term, like if you want adhesive, like to to have like a, um, it's extra, but I don't know what that's all about. And here's your H stake. It comes with the H stake so that you can just slide it down and stick it in the ground. Click on review. You see this where it says download proof. So if you were doing this for a customer, you can send this screenshot along with a copy of the proof before you place your order to ensure school is correct, names are spelled correctly, all of that good stuff, this is literally a free built-in feature that you can offer to a customer. And once that's all settled, you just click on approve and add to cart and you go on and check out. It's just as simple as that. It took mine two days, my particular um, Office Depot to get this done. So it was two days to print and in order to meet the $60 threshold, I did get some pictures like the actual graduation photo itself of some of my clients. I just added those in like, I mean, of course you charge, but you're getting it at a discount to get that 30% off your $60 order. So it should come in around $40 for your, for you. And then from there you decide how much you want to charge your client for the yard sign as well as some individual prints of whatever you decide to do whether it's this or just an actual photo that you can upload through print services so that's it y'all that's all i have if you have any questions let me know and thank you all so much for watching bye